Hello. This uh, month of June is dedicated to the Sacred Heart, and I'm here outside of the Statue of St. Joseph for a couple of reasons. I, I love the Statue of St. Joseph, but uh, the first of which is when we ponder how close saints have gotten to the Sacred Heart of Jesus who poured out his love for us, uh, we need not look any further outside of our Blessed Mother than at St. Joseph because he protected and guarded the Holy Family. He also was given a share of the treasures of the heart of Jesus. Those mysteries of how deep God's love is for us were poured out on St. Joseph, which is why he was emboldened to be able to lead the Holy Family through some difficult places while they were alive, as well as to take care of them in the hidden way. And uh, the Lord calls many of us to a hidden life, uh, one that isn't known by uh, Hollywood or by even a, a lot of likes on social media, but is known by God. And Jesus poured out his love for us on the cross, which is why when we want to enter into a deeper relationship with Christ, we want to fall in love with him again, we have to ponder the devotion of the Sacred Heart and ask St. Joseph for help. The second reason why I'm uh, here before St. Joseph is uh, recently the uh, mother of the convent, the monastery in Danvers, just passed an eternal life. It was on the first Wednesday dedicated to St. Joseph, and it was the month of the Sacred Heart. So I ask if you can pray, uh, not just for Mother Teresa, uh, who is enjoying the eternal light of her spouse, Jesus, but to pray for the community as well. The Carmelite sisters are very important in our relationship with Christ because they pray that all of us that live in the world can enter into a deeper relationship with God. And they're able to do that because of how close and how intimate their conversations are with Christ while they're hidden from the world. So let's pray uh, for the community in Carmel and Danvers as well as uh, for each one of us to have a deeper devotion to Jesus through his sacred heart that's burning, that's ardent with love for each one of us. In any relationship that's rooted in authentic charity, true charity, we realize how much we don't deserve that relationship because the other is such a gift. We should ponder how, in a sense, we don't deserve God's mercy, and yet Jesus wants us to get so close to him. He doesn't want us to mistrust him, but to pour our hearts before him in prayer and to lean on his mercy because that's what he wants to most give us. God bless you.